I'm Reagan, formerly known as the Doom Wizard from countless men and women across the planet. And I'm going to vlog again, as I did a few days ago. So hear me out here. This is a discussion with my community. I can only applaud and thank all of you for being a part of this. Generally, just reminding me and others to live in the present and tend to those who we care most about around us. And some even still suffer, still suffer with anger issues towards CFMs, clueless fucking morons, of which there are many in the States. You know, anger is a choice. It's almost an addiction because it gives you a thrill, but it's uncontrollable and you can't, you don't know when it's, it can come about. I have anger issues in my family coming from some raging Cajuns. And I guess I'm just offering a quick tip and suggestion because that's what you want to know. The solution to not exploding when you have to interact with normies or unawake people. Let's put it that way. Either you're awake or you're not to this information. Oh, I do both in simultaneously. I prioritize my own happiness, comfortability. I say, I'm not gonna let their stupidity penetrate my boundary of peace and solidarity with my mental space. I'm not going to allow that. I have boundaries, no matter how insipid of comments they make, like it's lasers or have you look at the cycles or it's Biden, they're trying to control, you know, to make you stop using gas. They're trying to control you buying a Kit Kat bar. Meat sauce. So number one, make it a priority to see that you're, that you are comfortable in this last decade. And two, use your imagination both at the same time and project out eight, 10 years from now when everybody's panic, pure turmoil, chaos when the gas lines shut because we've hit peak fossil fuels. It's 1.5 degrees Celsius year round, which means extremes and uh, melting Arctic, uh, Biden. Priority, your happiness. Secondly, imagination. Retreat into this space, this safe space where you can imagine them uh, screaming to death or because that's what's gonna happen. I know where this is going. You know where this is going, Dr. Gilbs. And I wanna respond to your video today. Is climate change accelerating? and Although you say that the impacts are, it's actually falling in line. The projections are falling in line with what's ha on the higher end of what's happening. We projected this rise in temperature and it's pretty much as we expect now. As far as I'm concerned, it is accelerating because it's impacting us fa at a faster rate. Our civilization, our way of doing things which we've so carefully laid out. We've we've exceeded the boundaries, okay? And then furthermore, can you just apply a little bit of, an, of imagination because of the projections literally say that once we pass 1.5 and two degrees, we're gonna hit tipping points like the Siberian permafrost melting, releasing gigatons of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere along with methane primarily and the Arctic melting, which is like releasing 25 years worth of vehicle emissions on the road um, or something like that. These are numbers you could double check, but all of these, the Antarctic melting, the AMOC shutting down, all of these delicate cis Amazon rainforests and North America, Can Canadian wildfires. I mean, on and on and on. There's, there's, there's so many tipping points that you can just use your, use your imagination in the next decade or two. Things are going to accelerate and the warming will get faster, quicker. The global average temperature. So it was kind of like, she was trying to, Dr. Gilbs was trying to, no offense, cool gal, seems nice. I don't have a problem with her, but it just seems counterintuitive that she puts out a video, despite knowing about these tipping elements that release massive quantities of, of heat trapping gases on the planet. And yet, and then also saying in the same video about the impacts are increasing, but then kind of downplay it and offer solutions. There's no solutions, what are you gonna, Come here to the States, get all the people off the road. Are you gonna get uh, to the protesters all around the world right now? I know that's going on. I should mention that being a climate oriented channel. I know there's a big protest going on this weekend in like 50 countries. Uh, some people even blocked Citibank's building this morning. I applaud them, but at the same time, what's the, what are we gonna do? What, how are you gonna get the Rex Tillerson's off the board and the, the automaker, you know, this greedy, greedy fucks that make you rent your body out for wage slavery. 13,000, you know, workers went on strike, which is, I think it should be much larger, but you know, th there's this greed, succubuses are gonna exist unless you can cut, get rid of that. 
then fine, all these protests work. We shut down fossil fuel plants, and then how do we get to work? How do you get feed all these children, you know, and get medicine and pay your bills, turn on the lights? So I'm not advocating for that it's not a bad idea. I'm not saying stopping fossil fuels is a bad idea because it's obviously what we needed to do 50 years ago. But at this point, you're rooting on, you know, we're in peak civil fossil fuels production by the end of this decade, tipping elements, everything goes to shit, dude. Use your imagination, Dr. Gilbs. Use your imagination, climate protesters. The, the, the It isn't working. Biden, the authorities, representatives, not, none of this works. Okay? And there's no solution. We're in a predicament. Just go walk around. Just get outside your house and really look at the world from a logical standpoint. Use, use your frontal lobe. Do you think we can reverse engineer all of this? You're delusional if you think. You're in denial. And that's another thing. Look, clueless morons. I had a recent interaction with somebody. Someone told me recently on, online, they said, oh, a high school reunion. Oh, we can have another one. I said, well, this is our last decade. And then Mr. Smarty Pants said, uh, well, I had so much big plans for the future. And then I replied, well, the climate and our environment doesn't care about your big plans. It has other plans. Our civilization was built in temperatures and climate, which we are now exceeding that threshold for. And his response, in typical clueless brain-dead normie CFM fashion, well, they said that the housing market was going to go down. So that, so, you know... Look where we are, and if you need help, you know, someone can recommend you to get mental services. I just had to take a moment of silence for that stupidity. Of course I replied, because it was funny. I can read, how about you? And then I sent him the link to PBS, Code Red for Humanity, published, I think it was 2020, literally saying in the first two paragraphs, like, in about a decade, we're going to exceed temperatures that we can reliably depend on for our civilization. It will get too hot for us to manage. Take an example of this past summer, okay, all year round. That's just the start, okay? You haven't seen nothing yet. But I replied, I can read, maybe so can you, but de denial makes it very hard for you, I understand. I'm pretty sure you don't even know what code red means. Nice attempt at trying to gaslight me. It was cute. There you go. I wasn't making a firestorm or I'm past that point, you know, with my my fingers. I was just like you're clearly stupid or uninformed. Yeah, you're stupid. You don't care about the natural world. And that's the epitome of stupid to me. Yeah, you assume that I was in mental duress. I am more awake and up than ever. <laughs> I am confident and I'm gonna go horseback riding and shooting ARs next week, okay? I'm in a good place. So I think that about does it, my Friday rant. A uh, few messages there. Take care of your mental health. And then, you know, the protests worldwide, what will we do? Have a good weekend. I'll stream Saturday morning or afternoon. Just getting going. It's my third one. And all of you across the globe, I am formerly known as the Doom Wizard by countless men and women across the planet. What a wonderful life. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.